like the other side, I'm going to salvage this fitting. I'm going to take the little pie piece out of the side, bang it, bang it in, and it should roll right out. What you have to remember about this trick is that the threads are thinner than the actual remaining piece of the pipe. So when you're cutting through, you have to be careful that you may not be through the thick piece, but you may already be into the threads. When using wrenches in space, which means no, nothing's holding the pipe in place like a, like a vise or a um, tripod, you want to always use a wrench to hold back. Make sure your feet area is clear of any debris or tools. Make sure your base is good and strong and make little adjustments, little turns. You don't want to make large, big pulls because it tends to send you off balance. Always be sure to have a good bite on the fitting that you're turning before you make your pull. Last thing you'd want to do is slip off. You want to keep spinning until it starts to get tight. As soon as you start to feel the tension, you want to stop and put a level on. I went just a little past where I wanted to be, so I'm going to continue around for another turn. This is low pressure steam, similar to gas piping. So you always want to be sure to tighten the pipe properly. Had this been a problem, I would have taken this fitting completely back off, re-teflon, re-doped, and reinstalled. So the next thing I'm going now to I'm do go is replicate this header right here with, with these three fittings. branches. I come over to the tripod. So I, set my tripod up, as you I have saw already earlier. put my first tee in the tripod in, securely. Level, try to keep the, the branch kind of level. Secure. And I'm going to take my first nipple. Inch, this close is a close nipple, nipple which right? means there's no space in between the opposing threads. It threads in like any other nipple but it doesn't have space. So I'll Teflon tape, I'll use some pipe dope, and build up this header. I am going to put two T's on right now. They don't need to be super tight, just hand tight. Another close nipple. Teflon tape. Both sides, a little dope, both sides, So now I'm going to take my wrench, put my wrench on this first joint. As I tighten this joint up, if the joint coming down towards the tripod is looser than the joint that I'm tightening, it will tighten. This is how you tighten an entire header all at the same time. Once I notice that the middle T is starting to get tight, I will stop then to check and make sure that they're level with each other.
I'm going to go back over to the original header, get a center to center measure of each one of these T's. One's at four and one's at four and a half. So I'm going to transfer those numbers to the new header. So I'm pretty close here, pretty close here, a little bit more tightening up, make sure the fittings are all looking in the same direction and I'll be able to install this new header.